Hello. Hey. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello how teacher. are you? How are you, everyone? Fine. Fine. Thanks, teacher. Hello, hello. It's good to see you all. Well, today is the last day of the week, so I'm pretty sure you are happy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what you did today? What did you do today? Tell me. Ah, in my case, teacher, in the morning, I work in the clinic. But uh, in the afternoon, I was in the hospital. And uh, with only one patient, I passed almost all the afternoon. Um, she uh, was very um, a difficult case. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, thank you. Uh, what a, another volunteer? Mm -hmm. What do you do today? I want to hear what you did today. Um, me teacher, um, my day was very busy. Mm -hmm. um, I have to resolve uh, some problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then uh, in the afternoon, uh, um, more quiet. Oh, okay. Or mm -hmm. okay, thank yeah. you, Edith. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, anyone else? <clears throat> I have Herbert, I have Roberto Donay, I have Roberto de Paul, and I have Diego Arturo. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have Diana now. Good evening. Good evening. In my case, in the morning, I had a psychology exam for a new year. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, I relax. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so you had a good time today. Mm -hmm. But but I I had to wake up very early. What time today? What time? Uh, four forty-five a.m. Four forty-five. Yes. That's that's not because, early. That's late. That's late. <laughs> because exit to Soyapango it's complicated. Oh, really? So where do you live? I live in Soyapango, San Salvador. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you, Roberto. Uh, welcome, Lily. Uh, welcome, Diana. Welcome. Okay. Um. So it's good to see thank you today. You. Mm -hmm. It's good to see you today, everyone. And as I said before, today we are going to um, we're going to end the week. And mostly, well, we just have two more days, right? We only have Monday and Tuesday, and then it's over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, two more days, not including today, right? Um, and then we are going to conclude these course this module number two intermediate <clears throat> number two okay so um today we are going to i'm going to start right now because we need to work a lot today okay i need you to we need to complete um um one and a half section and uh today we are going to talk about describing preferences for example, some things that you like doing, some things that you love doing, some things that you enjoy doing. For example, in my case, I love teaching English. Mm -hmm. I love running. Yeah. And uh, I hate 
getting up early. Yeah, that's something that I hate. I don't like to get up early, I, especially at 5 a.m. I get up early every day, uh, 5 a.m. And when I go running, I get up at 4 o'clock. So imagine. So, nah. all right. So those things we're going to be talking today, and uh, we're really going to be talking about describing preferences. All right. Uh, let me see. Um, Diego Arturo, would you mind reading the objective for me, please? Diego Arturo Gutierrez. Okay. Uh, Evelyn Liliana. Yes, I'm here. Okay, can you read the objective okay, for the me? Okay, Yes, objective. By the end of the class, you will learn how to make a statement with gerundios. Mm -hmm. Gerundio, how do you say? Gerunds. Gerund, okay, one more time, sorry. By the end of the class, you will learn how to make a statement with gerunds and giving a short response. Okay, good. Responses. Thank you. Uh, yes, as I said before, we're going to be talking about describing preferences, but we are going to be using gerunds. Like, for example, um, I'm good at, let me see, something that I'm good at. Okay, I guess I'm good at teaching English, I guess. <laughs> I think so. All right. Uh, and then. Um, good evening. Yes, good evening. Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries, Diego. I understand that. No worries. Okay, good evening. All right. Yesterday, we were talking about what? We were talking about conditionals. Do you remember that? Conditional. For example, we were working that um, if I do something, something else is going to happen. All right. For example, if I don't, okay, if I work, okay, let me give you this example. If I work, what will happen if I work? If I work, what will happen? I have many, a lot of money. Okay, I but will have a lot of money. See, if I work, I will have a lot of money. All right, so that's what we were doing yesterday. Okay. As you can see here, I have one, two, three, four, four statements or four sentences. I would like you to complete at least two. Choose two. Two out of the four and complete it. All right? <coughs> okay, only two. Mm -hmm. Patricia Herrera says if I work, I will have, I will have um. I will, I will have a earn every month. What do you mean like I will have a earn? Mm -hmm. Do you mean like payment? Un pago? Do you mean pago? Un sueldo, uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah. You can say uh you can say a wage, wage or um earn monthly payment. Monthly payment? Ah, or, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or job wage. Ah. Okay. Please coach Yes. How do you say millionario? Millionaire. Millionaire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Millionaire. Okay. All right. Okay. Could you please choose one, uh, choose two out of the four and please complete it. Escojan dos de las cuatro and complete it, please. Okay, let me know, please. Coach, I have a, I yes. have a, a question. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice duda? Doubt. D O U B T. Doubt. Mm -hmm. Doubt. Okay, I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. Si yo quiero decir. Uh, by a mere, me, me, my sentences is I will travel ar around the world if, if 
I if I I what? No, pero es que no sé cuál es ese tiempo. Si yo fuera oh. millonaria. If I were, okay, listen. That was, I guess, Patrice. I don't, I don't remember if it was Patrice. No, no, no. Yesterday, Patricia didn't come. But, uh, okay, it was the other group. All right. Right now, what we are looking at is simple present. Simple present. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay. Okay, for example, if you see here, we had the if, right? Tenemos el if. Oh, I'm sorry. Tenemos el if aquí. Wait, 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 wait. Tenemos el if, ¿verdad? And then we yeah. have, and then we have what? We have simple present, ¿sí? Simple present, simple present. So that means that right here will go simple, I mean, simple present, ¿sí? Simple present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Pero, pero, y entonces, pues, sí, tengo que usar simple present, pero, okay, digamos, will... no fuera. Oh, ¿Qué tiempo listen. es ese? Ok, si it's a fuera. conditional, but it's a, the second conditional. This is the first conditional. Ok. Ah, listen. ok. Ok. Thank um, you. It's interesting. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're going to complete this activity and then I'm going to give you the different, um, the different uh, conditionals so that you can see the differences. Ok. Mm -hmm. Complete this activity first, and then I'm going to show you how to express the other conditionals. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Okay, uh, Patricia Herrera, if I work, I will have, I will have to, uh, I will travel around the world if I save enough money. Okay, Patricia, save es con V, save. Um, Roberta Donay, I will travel around the world if I get a new job. Mm -hmm. If I don't work, I will have more free time to practice soccer. Do you play soccer all night? Yes, I like to play soccer. Okay. Thank you, okay. teacher. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, let me see Gracinha. Gracinha says, if I don't work, I won't pay the bills. That's true. If I fall in love, I will think in this person every day. Okay. Okay, let me see the other example that Patricia Herrera has. If I drink a lot of water, I will have a good health. Muy bien. Roberto de Paul, if I fell in love, I will be happy. Okay. Herbert Douglas, if I don't work, I will have more time, more time to spend. If I drink a lot of water, I will be healthier. Good. Ailey Michel, I will travel around the world if I had money. Mm, okay. Okay, I, I know you, I know Ailey, okay, if I had. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyone else? Mm -hmm. All right, listen, as I was saying before, we have, uh, let me see, around three conditionals, All right? Probably, this is not a topic, but I just want to mention them uh, very quickly. All right. Look at the first one. The zero conditional is this one. Zero conditional. Let me see. The zero conditional. Zero. Zero conditional. Conditional. Okay. If I work. If I study. I pass the exam. See? That's the zero conditional. If I study, I pass the exam. Si yo estudio, paso el examen. Okay? That's the zero conditional. The first conditional is the, follow, the following. Okay? Conditional. Okay? If I study, I will pass the exam. See? That is the first conditional. Si yo estudio, pasaré el examen. Okay? Okay, second conditional. Okay. Second conditional. If I... If I study it,
Look. The same condition. If I studied, I would pass the exam. Si estudiara, pasaría el examen. Uh -huh. And the third conditional, el tercero condicional. Conditional. Okay. If I had studied, I would have passed the exam. Si yo hubiera estudiado, yo hubiera pasado el examen. ¿Sí? O yo habría pasado el examen. Si yo hubiera estudiado, yo habría pasado el examen. ¿Sí? Esos son todos los condicionales, pero ahorita... Prácticamente el que estamos viendo es el primero condicional, the first conditional. If I study, I will pass the exam. If I work, I will earn money. If I study, I will pass the grade. If I go to the United States, I will visit New York. See, that's the first condition. Okay. And the next coming courses and the next coming um, uh, module, you. Uh -huh, you are going to study those, those conditionals. So right now, only focus on the first one, first conditional, okay? If I do this, I will do that, okay? Is that clear, the first conditional? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good, thank you for asking. All right, I guess I'm going to, um, yes, I'm going to uh, move. Okay, uh, we're gonna do the following activity. All right, so, Right now, what I want you to do is the following. I would like you to name five reasons for living long and happily. And name five things that make you happy and name five things that irritate you. Okay, and your notebook, please. Okay, no hagamos cinco, sino que hagamos dos, only two, two. Two reasons, okay? Two reasons for living long and happily. Two things that make you happy and two Ooh, things that What irritate. is mean? What? What does it mean living long? Uh, vivir una larga vida y felizmente. So, mencione uh, dos razones para vivir una larga vida y felizmente. Hmm? And then the next one, name Ahí dice cinco, pero quiero que escriban solamente dos. Y después vamos a compartir, ¿ok? Name two things that make you happy and then name two things that irritate you. ¿Ok? Two reasons for living long and happily. Escríbelo en, un, en su cuaderno o en another piece of paper and then we're going to talk and we're going to share um, your answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know when you finished. Porque hay otras otros que hacer más más adelante. Uh -huh. Okay, two reasons for living long, two things that make you happy, and two things that irritate you. Okay, uh, do you finish? Para pasar no. la... <laughs> okay. Si ya terminaron, la siguiente es Two reasons for traveling around the world. Esa es la siguiente. Sí, no, la primera, vos. 
<laughs> Hurry up, please. Uh -huh. Okay, how you doing? Come on, come on. Okay. You can you can write a very simple uh sentence. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry I'm late. No, that's fine. That's fine. No worries. Okay. Uh, vamos a la siguiente. Vamos a ver. Okay. Two reasons for traveling around the world. Dos razones para viajar alrededor del mundo. Two reasons. And then, el siguiente sería... Two things that make you smile. Dos cosas que los hacen sonreír. Uh -huh. Estamos escribiendo dos cosas, dos razones para viajar y dos cosas que los hacen reír. All right. Are we ready? Okay. Okay, let's get a starter. Um, let's get a starter. Can you tell me uh, some reasons for living long and happily? Some reasons for living long and happily. Give me some reasons. Open your in microphone. My case, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, in my case, I have two reasons for living long and happily. <laughs> the first one is my family uh -huh. and that one my my life okay. my, my dream <laughs> okay good thank you okay. anyone else alguien más alguien más mm -hmm. patricia teacher okay good go ahead patricia um, uh, because i will now my grandsons and all my granddaughters oh oh really okay nice Okay. And uh, by to be company to my husband. Oh, okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, anyone else, or should I move to the next one? Do you want to participate in the next in the next one? Two things that make you happy. Two things. What are they? Mm -hmm. Two things that make you happy. Me and I. Uh -huh, uh, number one, play soccer. Number two, play the guitar. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good example. Thank you, Anai. Alguien más? Anyone else? Vamos a preguntar entonces. Vamos a ver. Luis Arquímedes. Mm. Two things uh, that make you happy. Okay, it it uh, <clears throat> honey buns and some uh, pan dulce. How do you say pan dulce? Uh, sweet bread. How? Sweet bread. The sweet bread. The sweet, the dulce, and bread, the pan. Ah, sweet bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sweet bread and. Uh, stay in the beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you. Vamos a ver a quién más. Uh, vamos a ver a uh, Rosa Luz. Two things that make you happy, Rosa Luz. Hello, good evening. Uh, my family and eat. <laughs> Eat what? <laughs> Hamburger, pizza, or chicken, pollo campero, yeah. pollo campestre, what? Mm -hmm. Mexican, Mexican food. 
Oh, okay, good. Mexican food. Thank you. Okay. Diego, uh, let me see. Azucena Ayala. Two things that make you happy. Azucena Ayala. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, uh, uh, when I see my favorite movie, mm -hmm. uh, to cook, I love cook, uh -huh. and uh, make my joke the best. Oh, good, good. Good good example, Azucena. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know if okay. Diana, Diana um, can you participate, Diana, or are you busy, Diana? Okay. Okay, what about you? Uh, okay, next. Look, it says two things that irritate you. Que los irrita? Tell me. Herbert Douglas. Herbert Douglas. Two things that irritate the you. Thing, the third thing is the foolish people. And second thing is the animal abuse. Animal? Abuse, abuso, abuse. Oh, animal abuse. Okay, animal abuse. Okay, animal abuse. Okay, wow, that's uh, that's good. Roberto de Paul. Dos cosas que lo irritan. Two things that irritate you. How do you say mentir? Can anyone tell me how you say uh, mentir? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Oh. Lying. Liar. Liar. Lying. Okay. If it is a person, it's liar. Si es una persona, it's liar. liar. Si es el nombre, it's lie. Si es el verbo, it's to lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the fifth one is liar. Oh, liar uh, people? Number... Yes. Mm -hmm. Number two is... Joking es como bromear. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, okay, good. Uh, vamos a ver alguien más. Who wants to participate in that one? Two things that irritate you. Uh, and I, uh. Uh -huh. uh, me, teacher. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, people uh, threw away the food. Mm -hmm. And when people do not take me into account, mm -hmm. in cuenta, mm -hmm. I don't know. How do For, you say? To do what? Uh, que las personas no me tomen en cuenta en, en ciertas cosas. No, no sé cómo explicar. Oh, like people don't, um, don't take me into account. Mm -hmm into account okay. yeah or, or don't consider me to do something or to be uh, part uh -huh. to be part of something okay uh because uh -huh. of the okay. time okay tell me razones para viajar tell me two reasons to for traveling around the world and two things that make you happy mm -hmm. okay uh let me see vamos a preguntar a douglas i mean no no no, no. amilcar Okay, Amilcar Escobar. Reasons okay, to teacher. travel. Mm -hmm. uh, one reason mm -hmm. or two one reasons? Reason. One reason. Okay, okay, one reason. Uh, one reason will be uh, for business or for, for study. Okay, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm for business or to study. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, voluntarios for para la siguiente. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Voluntario for the next one. Uh, things that make you smile. Any volunteer? A good job, Patricia. <laughs> oh, a good job, okay, uh -huh. Patricia. To help in a birth. To have? To help in a birth. 
You mean like drink a beer? Beer? Really? Nacimiento? Oh, okay. To have a newborn. Newborn. Oh. Nuevo nacido. O un, o, o, ajá, newborn. Okay. Yeah, newborn. Ajá, o, I, I, uh, bueno, I help, help mm -hmm. to help, mm -hmm. help uh, to the woman, to mm -hmm. the, oh. Oh, so what is your profession? You told me that you had a I doctor. am gynecologist. Ah, I'm a gynecologist. Okay, you're mm -hmm. a gynecologist. Ah, okay. Gynecologa. You are a gynecologa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Now I understand your sentence. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Because of the time, uh, uh, let's move on. Okay. Can you tell me some things that you love? What do you love? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Tell me some things that you love. In my case, I love uh, sleeping. I love sleeping. What about you? I, I love cats. cats. Oh, I love cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love cool. the beach. Okay, I love the beach. And go uh -huh. to the beach. Yes. Oh. I love my family. Oh, I love my family. Uh -huh. What else? Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. I love what? to rest in my hammock. Oh, <laughs> I love to rest in my hammock. Hammock. Uh -huh. Yeah, hammock. Mm -hmm. What else? I love the dog. Oh, you love the dog. Okay. What else? I love dancing. I love dancing. Okay, good. I love dance. Okay, nice. Okay, next. I love to go out to dinner for oh, dinner. Okay. Oh, you love to go out, out to dinner. Okay. Tell me some things that you hate. In my case, I hate irresponsible people irresponsible people what about you tell me something that you hate mm -hmm. i hate i hate what do you hate i hate okay liar people oh liar people okay by the way when we say hate uh quizás mm -hmm. en español el, el, la, la connotación de la palabra hate Es como odiar, pero no realmente odiar. significa... Odiar. Ajá, ajá, ajá. It doesn't really mean odiar. No casi significa odiar, sino que significa como algo que, que a usted le desagrada, algo que no le gusta. So, when you say I hate, realmente lo que está diciendo es algo que le desagrada, ¿ok? Porque mucha gente dice, oh, no, 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 no puedo decir que yo odio, ¿ok? But you can say I hate. What? Really, Patricia, you hate Coca-Cola? <laughs> okay. I hate the traffic. Oh, I hate the traffic. Good job. Good example. Azucena Ayala says, I hate people. Ah, I hate people who make me to wait for them so much. Mm -hmm. What else? You know, I hate, oh, I hate like people. Hate. Mm -hmm. I hate lazy people in my work. Oh, okay, okay. You hate uh, lazy people. Mm -hmm. What else? I hate when I'm Mr. sick. Chair. Yes, yes. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Chair. Yeah, uh, go ahead, go ahead. I, uh, I hate when, when the food it isn't on time. Oh, you hate when, when food comes late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I hate when my, my, my coffee is cold. Because I don't know you, but I think... Uh, really? Yeah, I think coffee is not coffee if it is cold. <laughs> I don't think that cold coffee is coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hate my headache. Oh, okay. All right, next. Vamos con la siguiente. Okay. 
So you were saying before that you love something, that you hate something, but can you identify in this picture the different kind of jobs that you might know? Can you identify the jobs that are represented here? Yes? Yes. What kind of A job? Secretary. Yes. Secretary. Mm -hmm. Different kinds of jobs. There okay, is an engineer. Engineer, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Secretary. There is a nurse, a doctor. Nurse, doctor. There is a mechanic. Mechanic. A mechanic, okay. Engineer. An engineer. Architect. An electrician. Okay, a veterinary. A, pe a pediatrician. Pediatrician. Mm -hmm. What else? Do you see a teacher? Come on, a teacher is there. There is a, a plumber. A plumber. There plumber. is an architect. An architect. 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 Mm -hmm. There is a pilot. Is this, okay. There is a businessman. A businessman. What about a lawyer? Do you see a lawyer? I think so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Maybe. Okay. Okay, good. I don't know if your job is represented here. I don't know. I don't know if your job is represented there. But if it is, good. Okay. Usually, when we are looking for a job, there are certain characteristics that uh, the employee is looking for, right? Okay. Maybe you can tell me if I ask you, what are you good at? What can you tell me if I ask you? En que es bueno usted? What are you good at? ¿Qué me respondería si yo le hago esa pregunta? What are you good at? In my case, since I'm an English teacher, I would say I am good at teaching English. See? What are you good at? I am good at teaching English. What about you? What are you good at? Complete the sentence. I'm good. I'm good at. Oh, look, I'm Patricia at, says. Um, bakery. Okay, Patricia says, and good at taking care of people. Good. Type the answer in the chat, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm waiting for your responses. And good at and good at math. Are you an engineering uh, engineer, Roberto? Or or anything like that? Oh no. What are what are, what I'm are, not engineer. What are you? What what do you do? Mm -hmm. Are you a I technician? Started, are you a technician? business? Oh business. Oh okay. business. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. So you are a businessman then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Angura soldando. Oh, okay. Soldar significa welding. Welding. Okay, Ailey Michelle, I'm good at a, a ceiling. What do you mean by Ailey? Ceiling, ceiling. Yes. Repeating again. Soldado. Welding, welding, welding. Mm -hmm. Can you go right, please? Okay. Uh, let Let me make sure how to spell it, and then I'm gonna write it over there, right? Welding. I'm pretty sure it's welding. Mm -hmm. Let me see. To join, yes. Mm -hmm. El verbo es weld, que significa soldar. Soldando o soldadura es welding. ¿Sí? Welding. Eso significa soldadura. So, I'm good at welding. Vamos a ver aquí. Gracias. Okay. Says, Ajá. I'm good at business administration. Good. Patricia, I'm good at, at making an ultrasound to the pregnant woman. I'm good at fixing computer. Good, Herbert. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I have a short conversation now. 
And because of the time, I'm going to skip it and I'm going to pay uh, close attention to this one. Look, uh, if you see, I have some examples right here about some things that we can do, right? Um, okay, well, give me a second. Okay, if you see right here, usually we say, I love, all right? When we use I love, and then we, we can use, uh, you can express some things that you love doing. For example, I love teaching. Si ven, ¿qué le pasa al verbo? El verbo va en ING. Okay? I love traveling. I love cooking. I love playing soccer. I love, uh, I love what? Tell me something that you love. Wielding. Okay, I love welding. Mm -hmm. I love what else? Working. I love what? I love cooking. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love uh, I love bakering. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? Tell me something else that you love. Mm -hmm. See? Okay, so I have I love, and then I have I hate. I love sleeping. Oh, I love sleeping. Uh -huh. I love swimming. Okay, and then, y luego tenemos I hate. Cosas que odean. Por I ejemplo, hate. I hate working on weekends. Algo que I hate drinking cold coffee. Díganme algo que odean. Ya vimos eso anteriormente. I hate what? I hate lying. I, uh, I, ha I hate soap. lying. I, I hate lying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look the other example. I'm good at. Okay. Every time you use I, I'm good at, lo mismo le va a pasar al verbo. Va a ir ing. Y eso es el gerundio, ¿ok? Gerundio, gerund. ¿Ok? So tell me something that you are good at. And then you tell me. I'm good at taking care of people. I'm good at uh, fixing computers. I'm good at welding. I'm good at speaking in public, etc. All right? Ok. I'm Look. good at playing Chess. Oh, ok, sí. I'm good at playing chess. Ok. En español nosotros decimos, por ejemplo, si alguien dice, hey, you know what? I love eating pupusas. Si dijimos, me encantan las pupusas. I love eating pupusas. Y nosotros decimos también, hey, a mí también. ¿Cómo se dice a mí también en, en inglés? So Me I. too. So I. do I. So do I. I. Ok, la forma informal es me too. Me too. Por ejemplo, hey, you know, me gusta el pollo. Me too. Hey, you know, I love uh, cooking. Me too. Hey, you know, I love, um, I love uh, speaking in public. Hey, me too. Todo lo que vaya con me too, me too, a mí también, a mí también. Eso se dice so do I. Ok, so do I. Pero es dependiendo del tipo de, de oración que se está ocupando acá. Si ustedes ven, aquí estamos utilizando el qué? El simple present, ¿verdad? Por eso yes. es que ocupamos el do aquí. ¿Ok? En este caso, como estoy utilizando, look, el present continuous, por eso es que estoy utilizando acá el am, um, so am I. ¿Ok? Are we clear? Are we clear in there? ¿Estamos claros ahí? Yes, teacher. Ok, just keep yes. in mind. Uh, from now on, try to avoid saying me too. Traten de evitar decir me too, me too. Oh, you can sound more uh, sophisticated if you say so do I. So do I. So do I. So do I. So, do I. so ok, let's do the, hagamos la prueba. Yo, I, I'm going to say something. Y ustedes me tienen que decir, so do I, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Sí. Yes. Ok. 
Uh, I love eating pupusas with mayonnaise. Oh, so do I. So do sí, I. sí. Ya sabía que iban a estar. Sí, sí. Ya sabía que iban a estar de acuerdo ustedes. Son las I mejores don't... pupusas. With mayonnaise. Pupusas with mayonnaise, they are the best. Right? So, I yes? don't. I don't. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, I love traveling to different places. So do I. Yeah, so do I. So do I. Good. I so love. I. I love visiting new places. So, so do, do I. I. Okay. So okay. Do good. I. So, como ustedes pueden ver, cada vez que digamos, cada vez que digamos que eh, algo que estoy de acuerdo con lo que alguien ha dicho, yo voy a decir so do I. Porque eso significa que es más formal when we say so, so do I. Ok, ahora vamos al negativo. Look at this other one. La expresión is I don't mind. I don't mind. Ok, siempre vamos a ponerle ing al verbo. Ok, por ejemplo, no me importa trabajar largas horas. Eso es lo que dice la oración allí. I don't mind working long hours. Look at the other one. I'm, I'm not good at selling. Okay. I can't stand. What is I can't stand? Mm -hmm. What is it? I can... No, es no lo soporto. No. No lo soporto. Ah, no. O no puedo soportarlo. I can't stand commuting. ¿Qué es commuting? Es una palabra nueva, commuting. ¿Qué es commuting? Commuting es, por ejemplo, si usted vive en Santa Ana y tiene que viajar a San Salvador todos los días para trabajar, eso es commuting. Viajar de un lugar a otro para el trabajo. Eso es commuting. Si usted vive en Soyapango y tiene que tomar la ruta para ir a San Salvador, eso es commuting. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, okay that's why the sentence says, I can't stand commuting. No soporto viajar para, para el trabajo. Uh -huh. All right. Ok, look. Ahora vamos al otro. ¿Han escuchado que la gente dice, you know what? I don't like pupusas with mayonnaise. Y la gente dice, me too. ¿Verdad? Ok. Déjenme decirle que no se dice en negativo, no se dice me too, sino que se dice, neither do I. Neither do I. Ok, por ejemplo, look. I don't mind working long hours. Neither do I. I neither do I. Neither do I. ¿Por qué decimos neither do I? Es lo que decimos cuando estamos de acuerdo, pero en negativo. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I don't like pupusas with my unis. Usted me puede decir, neither do I. Uh -huh. Neither do I. Es lo que en español nosotros decimos... A mí también. A mí, a, a mí tampoco. A mí tampoco. A mí tampoco. Ajá, exacto. Lo que en español decimos a mí Just... tampoco es neither do I. Pero neither ¿por qué? I. Ajá, pero ¿por qué yeah. es do? That... ¿Por qué es do? No, porque estoy no, utilizando... Porque el verbo... Uh -huh. Correcto. Look. Look. No es el verbo, sino que es el auxiliar. Ajá, el auxiliar, correcto. Look. Y vamos a limpiar esto para que se vea mejor. Sí, I'm using am. ¿Por qué? Porque I'm using the verb to be, the auxiliary verb. To be. Okay. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Neither. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that clear? Uh, clear. Yes. Is that clear? Okay, look. Yes, uh, clear, teacher. Oh, yes. Yes. Vale, así que ahora en adelante... había puesto... no, 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 ok ahora yo espero 
que si alguien les dice una oración negativa, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, I don't like a yuca. I don't like yuca. ¿Cómo, de, cómo dirían ustedes? Um, ¿Cómo dirían ustedes en negativo? I don't, I don't like yuca. Neither, neither do I. Neither, neither, neither do, I. do I. Ok, okay vamos a ver esta oración. I can't speak German. I neither can't. Can I. Neither can I. Oh, good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, next. I am not good at, um, at waking up early. I'm not good at waking up early. Neither, 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 neither am I. I. Okay, good. Neither am I. Okay. Quiero que ahorita me hagan oraciones. Okay. I want you to do some sentences right now. And I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to stop sharing. Ok, quiero que me hagan oraciones following the next one. Tenemos nueve minutos por delante, ok. Vamos a ver, ok. I want you to, um, to write some sentences, ok. Ok, aquí. Ok, write in the chat sentence with I love, ok. I hate. And I am good at, okay? Okay, please, about you, about you now. Tell me something that you love. No olviden que si yo llevo love, el verbo que va a llevar se va a, va a ser gerundio con ing, okay? Vamos a ver la ciña. Uh, I'm good at cooking. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, I love dancing. Okay, good, good. I love, I hate, I'm good at. Okay, I love Dancy, Ailey Michelle, good. Okay, I love, oh, Patricia. ¿Cuál es el error allí, Patricia? I love. Okay, Aileen, I love dancing. I'm good at cooking dessert. Dessert, good. Ah, es que el tú, el tú. Exacto, el tú no lo necesitamos. Acuérdese, si usted va a utilizar yes. otro verbo después de love, no va a necesitar el tú, sino que va a ir en ing, exactly. Okay. Thank you. Okay, what about the next one? Okay, estoy esperando por tu... I hate. Okay, vamos a ver. I love watching sport, channels on the TV. I hate waiting. Uh -huh. I'm good at calculating taxes in my job. I love driving. I love eating pupusas. I love, okay. I hate. Okay, Sorry, en Michelle. este caso, Michelle. Oh. Michelle. Uh, en este caso, Ailey Michelle, su oración está muy bien. I hate liar people. Pero, como estamos viendo el ejemplo que sea con gerundio después de hate, Trate de buscarme una, un, un verbo, ¿ok? Ok, uh, Michelle. No. Sorry, okay. está mal. Está mal, lo voy a repetir. I love going to the beach. Good. Patricia, I hate lo mismo. Hey, uh, Patricia. Sí, 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 sí. Ok, ok. Ah. Okay, I hate lying, okay? I hate paying for the gas. <laughs> Me too. Uh-huh. Okay. I hate paying for the gas when it's more expensive. Okay, okay. Good. Okay, 
Va, olvidemos ahora esto y ahora vamos a los negativos. Vamos a los negativos ahora. I don't mind. I don't mind. Vamos a ver otro. I'm not. I am not good at. And I can. I can't stand. Ok, vamos. Ahora vamos con negativo. Les voy a dar un minuto para que escriban las negativas, ¿ok? Okay, let me see. I can't stand waiting in the traffic. I don't mind waiting for you. Okay. I'm good at the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Roberta de Paul. I don't mind I waiting for my food. Uh -huh. Good, good. Very good. Okay, vamos a ver. ¿Qué otra oración? Vamos a ver. Negativos. I don't mind waiting for my food. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Otras oraciones de negativo. Díganme algo que ustedes no sean buenos en. ¿Ok? ¿Me pueden decir algo que ustedes no son buenos en? Por ejemplo, en my case, I would say that I'm not good at drawing. No puedo dibujar. ¿Ok? I'm not good at drawing. Uh -huh. I'm not good at drawing. Ok. <ríe> ok, vamos a ver qué me están escribiendo acá. Aileen says, I don't mind standing in line. Okay, good. Vamos a ver, Roberto Donay. I don't mind working on the weekends if there is a bonus extra. Oh, of course. I'm not good. I'm not good at speaking. Speaking, probably. <laughs> okay, I can't stand driving in the traffic. Okay, good. I can't stand driving in the traffic. Ok, vamos a ver las otras oraciones. I'm not good at lying. Ok, good, Roberto. Amilcar, I'm not good at math. Ok, yes. Uh, even though Amilcar, we are looking for I'm not good at... Oh, Estamos sorry, buscando teacher. que después del at haya un verbo. Dundio. Ok, eso es lo que vamos buscando. Yeah. Uh, ok, no, I can't I'm stand sorry, I'm not good at um, computer okay. or systems. I, okay. I, okay. How do you say? Okay. In that case, uh, would be, uh, I'm not good at computer system, at computing or managing computers. Computing. Uh -huh. Managing uh, okay. computers. Manejando las computadoras con sistemas ah, okay. y todo eso. I'm not good okay, at okay. using the devices. Good. I don't good. Ok, en el caso de Herbert, ahí debería decir Herbert, uh, I am not good at, no me escriba I don't good at, ok, la oración es, ok, ajá, exactly, exactly Herbert, ok, ajá, uh -huh. I'm not good at, all right, ok, because of the time, I'm going to stop here, and we are going to continue working on that on Monday, ok, If you have any questions okay. or anything, okay, we are going to continue working on this on Monday. And remember, on Tuesday, we finish this course. Okay. So have a wonderful night. Okay. Thank you for coming. I will see you on Good Monday. Night. Okay. Bye-bye. Take Bye. care. Take care, everyone. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.